gentlemen, we are in for, I think, a crazy day today. We're here at the beach. Right now, the beach is actually way, way better looking than I thought it was gonna be. The water is actually pretty clear. It's actually in casting distance. Plan for today is we got a little bit of big baits for some shark, and we're also gonna be dropping some smaller baits for some freaking giant redfish. All right, first things first, you know we gotta do the bait check. As you guys may have seen, we're gonna be getting some freaking horse mullet out there. Mullet has to be one of the best baits, man. The question is if they get chomped down real quick by smaller sharks. Finally think I found out the best way to hook these guys. Now, if you know anything about predator fish, they like to eat the fish head first. And that's just because if you ate it the other way, these fins would be sticking out and sticking in the back of your neck. You don't want that, right? So they're gonna be eating it this way. And we're gonna hook this guy at a diagonal angle. You don't want to do it perfectly front to back because then the hook's just gonna flop around. Just like that, that should be a money bait right there. All right, gentlemen, it is time. Let's get some baits in the water. Let's get this show on the road. Let's hop in that kayak and drop some chunks of meat out there. In the meantime, might as well throw some lures. There's a guy, there's a guy. What is it, dude? This feels like a speckler. This feels like a nice speckler, dude. A really nice trout, I think. I think this is a really nice trout. Concentrate, boy. I think this is a really nice freaking speckled trout. Oh, it's so hard to land fish in the surf. Look his head shaking. He's going against the current too. It is a trout. Heck yeah, dude, surf trout. That's what I'm talking about. It's so sick. I love the beach. I love the beach. Look, no one, there's no one around either. You can't see a person in any direction. I love that so much. Dude, I just saw I saw some bait flicker. Oh my gosh, this is a nice trout. <laughs> Hell yeah! He's only got one hook. Come with the wave, brother. Oh my god, he's barely hooked. Come with the wave. Oh, that's a nice trout, baby. Wow. Hey, that's a nice trout, dude. Look at that. Yeah, man. Hey, dude, look at that. Speckled trout in the surf. It's very hard to beat a speckled trout in the surf like that. That's a nice one, too. All right, now the true test. Everyone guess. Guess how long this guy is going to be. We're about to measure. I'm going to release this guy, too, so we got to get him back quick. But we can get a quick measurement. Dang, 23-inch trout, dudes. Hell yeah. And as long as she spills back good enough, whoa, I'll be happy. And she took off. Holy cow. Oh, I'll show you what I'm using right here too. I'm using I'm using the top secret. We got the Miradine. But with the Miradine, we actually have a bullet sinker right here and then a bobber stopper. You could just use a split shot. A lot of people use split shot, but I think this looks a little bit nicer than the split shot. And it worked! There's a guy. Wow, that's gotta be a lady, huh? It's not jumping though. There you go. Oh, what is this? What is it? Spanish? It's a Spanish! Dang, awesome! Caught a trout, ladyfish, and Spanish. I was gonna say, man, I thought I saw a Spanish jump. What a day. Oh! Hey, now we got a nice smack from the beach and a trout all on the Miradine. That's hard to beat, man. No sharks yet somehow, but we're catching everything else. Well, lads, we got everything except for the shark today, but let's do this. We're, re we're gonna regroup, we're gonna go home, we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna come back out here tomorrow. We're gonna come back out here, do some more shark fishing, and hopefully have a little bit better bait this time. Look at the sky. That's crazy. We're out here gonna be throwing some big baits with some big rods and reels. And check this guy out there. That, I think that's gonna be the secret. I went out and caught this guy this morning, so we got some fresh bait. Fresh bait, I think, means everything. And that's a fresh bait right there. But right now, no time to waste. We need to get some chunks of meat on some big hooks way out there. Let's go. Oh, people, I just did 
the longest drop. I just dropped the bait, the deepest I've ever dropped it in my whole life. Way, way out there, the water turns a little bit darker blue, and that's where I went. And we have a little theory that the deeper you drop it, the bigger the sharks you can catch. I mean, not much of a theory. Not much of a theory, right? But let's see if we can make it come true. That's all the line we have left, so we're gonna have to use some drag on that guy. If it does get picked up, and I think it will. I think I got something, dude. Oh, I think I got something. I got something, dude. What? Is it? I can't tell. I can't tell. Oh, it's something. I got something. Yes. <laughs> I just came back and the line went slack. Oh, so no clicks? I didn't. It was already going slack before I got here. Oh, but you felt some pulling on there. Yeah, the small guy. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Is this going to be a video, yes or no? Hell yeah, dude. Show that three, three foot shark. Man, three foot tiger will make a video. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> There he is. He's running now, boy. Oh, he's putting up his best fight now. Damn, dude, you got a long way to go. Holy shit. Yes, sir. There he's, he's hunkering down. Oh, we might be closing in here. It might be, it's go time, ladies and gentlemen. to go. It was, it's a, it was already a little bit low. It might be like on the third bar. There it goes, there it goes. <laughs> you wanna get a glove so you can, if it is a fish, you can pull it in. Oh, dude, that's not bad. That's a nice shark right there, man. I don't know about all that. That's awesome, dude! <laughs> what the hell? That's bigger than I thought, but god dang! Wow, that's decent! That's almost decent! No, that's a really good shark, man. Oh! Got him, dude. Got him, nice! Oh, shit! <laughs> fights. Oh, that hurt, brother! Dang, he got you? That shark was a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, man. He was just so far out there, had so much line. I'm freaking happy with the size of that shark. Bringing it in, I was like, man, this might just be seaweed. But no, that was a shark. All right, lads, listen up. I feel like shark fishing is getting more and more popular, and I'm no small part of that considering I make shark fishing videos. So right now I'm gonna talk about some stuff that you absolutely have to have if you're going shark fishing at the beach. I don't wanna see you guys going to the beach without this stuff, right? First of all, something actually I see a lot of people go without is some bolt cutters, man. You never know if you're gonna be able to get that hook out of the shark. If he gets it real deep, you can just get in there and cut that hook off real easy and he'll be free to go with no hook in his mouth. Now, of course, another thing you should bring is a hook remover or some big old pliers. But if you're messing around with the hook remover pliers for 20 seconds even. Once it gets to 20 seconds, I feel like I've had that shark out too long. I'm just gonna cut that hook right away. Drag that sucker back to the beach. Speaking of dragging it, you gotta, you gotta have a tail rope. You can just get any dock rope. I think you can even get these at Walmart. Slide this around the tail, bring that sucker in. So far, I haven't had to use it. Once they get around seven feet, that's when you start needing a tail rope but you never know what kind of shark you're gonna get, so you definitely have to have one of these on deck. You know, something else that's really funny to watch is when someone is shark fishing, but they don't have a belt. They go through a lot of trouble. Sometimes people will try and just fight them from the rod holder, which can work, but shark reels are very wide, so when you're cranking it, they're gonna turn side to side, and that's why they have this right here. 
this little bar that keeps that keeps the shark reel in place so it's not turning while you're cranking. Shoot, I even started off with this little guy right here. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than nothing. Come on, man, you need gloves. You're gonna be guiding that line back on the reel. You're gonna be pulling the shark in by the leader. You need gloves. Speaking of shark leaders, come on, man. Get some, get some proper leaders. Don't go out there using 80 pound leader, all right? It's not gonna work. I think, I think I started off using like 150 pound mono leader and we lost a couple sharks right when I started. So I upgraded to wire. Get some proper shark stuff, all right? That's, we, don't, we don't want any sharks to die, right? Yeah, we don't want any sharks to die. I love you guys very much. Be safe. Be, be nice to the sharks. We'll see you next time.